first video, we talked about the collab.research.google.com and how you can access a notebook kind of an environment without having to install anything on your local system. It's available on web, on cloud. In this video, we're going to do a couple of things. The first one, we're going to look at how to access files from your Google Drive. This is your Google Drive link and how can I access Google Drive files, we have data files over here. How can we access Google Drive files, number one. Number two is just the basics of the notebook. And uh, it's very similar to Jupyter Notebook or Watson, uh, IBM Watson Notebooks or Azure Notebooks. Very, very similar, but just to give you a quick uh, walkthrough. On the left-hand side, you would see a small arrow. Click on that arrow and you will see table of contents. So if you create sections over here, so for example, I can create a new section saying uh, starting machine learning slash deep learning, it becomes a section. So sections are used in notebooks to keep a track on you know, what, what you have been doing and it can be used as index table of contents. This is code snippet, so if you need to let's say do camera capture or cross, you know, there are multiple types of codes available. All you have to do is double click it and the code would be available on the right hand side. So this is a help which you can get. And then finally, you have files tab in which you can see a lot of uh, installation. Please note that the TensorFlow is also installed over here. It's like, a, you know, whatever the files and you can mount a lot of other uh, directories as well. One of the directories being a G drive. So I'm going to talk to you about that as well in a few minutes, how to mount the G drive. Now, if you look at the file, you can open Python 3 notebooks, Python 3 open new Python 2 notebooks as well. You, if you have a notebook on your Google Drive or on your local or anywhere else, you can open that notebook as well. And then you can directly save a copy of this code on the GitHub and you can download the file as well. Edit uh, menu, you go to notebook settings and you can change your hardware accelerator. Please note that GPU, which is a graphical uh, processing unit and TPU, which is TensorFlow processing unit is also available to, to accelerate the, the, the run process. In the view, you would see the history and notebook info and others insert. You can insert a code, uh, text, or a code snippet and then finally runtime. This is used mostly to run all means it will run all the cells in you know, a typical notebook. You can restart a runtime, reset all runtimes or you can change the runtimes as well for that notebook. And finally you have preferences, keyboard short, shortcuts and help. So this is a small thing and the far, far right side you would see that RAM and disk are connected and then you can share it you can edit and stuff like that. So very, very simple uh, notebook. Now what I want to do is I have my data file over here, which is regression area price.csv. I'm going to access this file in the notebook. All right. So in order to do that, I'll just show you some steps. And this would be the file for my next video, which is linear regression. So I'm going to run this. This is just an import statement. Uh, Guys who are very new to Python, you have to import libraries, packages, uh, pandas, matplotlib for plotting, sklearn, which is scikit-learn linear model, and scikit-learn model selection. So these two things we have imported from here, sklearn. All right, why? We will see it in the next video when we do the linear regression, just for the sake of it. And then I'm just going to run this, say, print booting into machine learning. This is how you can normally do a print. We showed it in the first video as well. Now, this is one. So you would say from google.colab import drive. And let's mount this drive as G drive. So let's do that. I'm going to click on this one. And what it will do is it will ask you for an authorization code. What is this code? You click on this URL and when you click on this URL, it, will go, it is going to give you a code. Just put this code here 
and you will be able to mount you would see a G drive or as folders over here now just for security purposes I'm gonna pause and go here and copy the uh, copy the code and come back and paste the code so I copied the code and I'm um, pressing enter and you would see that it is going to authorize and G drive would be mounted here so you see it says mounted at G drive but you will not be able to see G drive unless and until you refresh after you refresh you would see G drive in which I would see my drive and collab notebooks and then data files you can access data files which we will be using in the following videos where whatever the videos we will be creating the link to this Google Drive file is available in the video description section but you want to mount your G drive please remember that all right so we have mounted the G drive you would see all the files what we have and I'm gonna run this so look at this so G drive my drive collab notebooks data files and regression so I'm just using this CSV file and in Python you would read a file using file r is read and the location of the file df is a variable which is data frame and which says pd dot read csv the file location and i'm going to print the data frame so what you would see is the output of the csv you would see this file area and price as a data frame so a data frame is imagine a imagine a matrix um, or uh, imagine a row and tabular format data, row and columnar format uh, format data, which is a data frame. So let's run it, and you will see that. See, this is the columns, area, and price, and you would see all the records. There are 31 records starting from 0 to 30, and you read a CSV file after you mounted a G drive. So in the next video, we're going to talk about linear regression. Thank you for watching.